318 RETS Eagle here at uh, Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. First thing I want to point out is there are features, options, upgrades on this unit in this video that may or may not be present on the one you're taking home. This video is not intended to be the exact unit you're taking home. Rather, it's an example of a 318 that we will commonly stock. Things like fabric schemes or options and upgrades might differ from unit to unit. For instance, I, you might notice on the stickers that says Eagle Premier. Um, it's a little confusing because there is technically no Eagle Premier travel trailer, unlike the fifth wheel series. Uh, it's an Eagle travel trailer with a Premier package. That's kind of the difference. That upgrade's going to add a couple things, uh, primarily to the interior, um, and uh, our you know description will go in depth on those a little more. Um, late last season, they changed over this nose cap, and pardon the shipping grime, this thing literally just got off the delivery truck, and I hopped right out here because I love this model. But, you know, what's cool is you can see how much buildup we have over here. But I opened this up so you can peek inside. Your propane tanks are spick and span. You know, this shield right here does its job well. It'll keep things like your propane tanks from getting gummed up. Now, uh, the trailer here in this video, power awning, power corner stab jacks, power tongue jack, and all those are a good quality component. Um, you know, you can get cheaper power awnings, cheaper power tongue jacks, but they tend to wear out faster. They tend to need more service. Um, you know, so in the end, you don't really gain anything. Now, one of the premier package upgrades, I believe, is these, uh, you know, one-handed baggage doors here. And you can see that this is uh, fully laminated. It's extra thick and insulated. Now, if this wasn't fully laminated, uh, if it was just a skin over a hollow door, then right through here, through this baggage door area would be right under your bed. And if you were doing any amount of cold camping or even just during the summer when it gets cooler at night, all of the air inside your camper would just start flowing out these doors right here and you'd end up freezing. Now, in travel trailers, it is really darn hard to find anyone that insulates and maintains uh, heating and cooling better than an Eagle series. It's always been pound for pound, I think, one of just the biggest, strongest, best trailers on the market. Um, standard things here, like the nice frameless uh, bonded windows you see, the uh, the seal is protected under the window pane, so it doesn't you know get as much UV exposure. Also, they look awesome, so there's that. But uh, uh, little things like this, like you'd be really shocked. Uh, the Eagle competitors in this price point, and I'm, I'm sorry, I don't like to name names. Um, I don't like to mudsling. Just suffice to say, when you start looking at this price point, look for something like this little thing right here. This is an, uh, a stovetop vent. This means that if you're cooking inside, it'll vent the heat outside the camper. And you think, well, don't they all have that? And no, they don't. That's why I'm talking about this. And you'd be really shocked who doesn't, because that's the kind of stuff people don't look for. Now, um, you're going to find a lot of folks in this uh, price point have the nicer aluminum wheels. But this has a Moride CRE 3000 suspension system. Three inches of independent travel on a rubber ride system that can be lubricated. And again, that's a big difference between this Eagle and a lot of other RVs. Most folks aren't going to take you the time to show you the running gear, but you need to know that because that's where your long-term investment and longevity comes from. Um, you might notice it's fairly bright in here. This is all LED lights and they're a very nice grade. Now what's super cool is Jayco actually took the time and development they, they held off putting LED lights in their campers for a full year. They could have beat everyone to the market, but at the time, all the LED lights in campers were stark, flat white, and it would have looked like a doctor's office in here and super dreary. They purposely slightly yellow their LED elements to give it a natural, organic light look, because this is what a camper is supposed to look like inside. Now, before I forget, these do have a really cool remote control system, and the camera's probably not allowing you to read these, but suffice to say, you turn it on, pick the device you want, like main slide. You can um, operate it right from here, essentially. It even powers your jacks, your awnings, your porch light. Where that is really nice is not necessarily, well, two things. When you're setting up alone, and if there's like, say, if there's a tree over here and you want to make sure that your, uh, your slide out doesn't crash into it, that's one of the areas you're nice. Now, the other thing is, if you're under your patio, you want to move the awning out, you can do it. You don't even have to get up, it's awesome. Now, there are two opposing slides in this floor plan here. You've got the uh, twin recliner slide over there uh, across from the big living room super slide, and it's what's giving you this just enormous living room. Not to mention the fact, if you notice, 
This has a barreled roof inside. The roof is actually domed in here. That makes it seven foot tall in the middle. That's a really big deal. Um, now again, options and upgrades can differ. So like, I don't know the name of this color scheme offhand, but remember that your fabrics can be different. Your equipment can be a little different. Most of what I'm showing you though is, is pretty uh, general um, and pretty indicative of how we will stock these. Uh, we like a freestanding table in this floor plan most of the time. You know, your opinion might be different. We'll already one with a booth if you want. Not a big deal. But uh, this is a little more comfortable, a little more residential for most folks. Uh, you know, that's still subjective. Now, one thing I want to point out, not only are there windows in the sides of the slide outs, but they open. 50% of this window pane can open. You cannot get more airflow than what you'll find in this Eagle. And we not only have nicer nightshades, but these windows are actually UV tinted. Um, let's see here. If we peek across the street, you see how that window over there is jet black. You can't see inside it. That's what these windows look like too. It's an 80% UV tint, just like a car. If a car has tinted windows, a lot of times you can see, um, out of them, but not into them as easily. Um, twin recliners over here. This is an upgrade that we have put into this one. Again, most of the time this floor plan, this is how we'll stack them. Always check our picture tour, always double check our options list to make sure it matches what you want. Now, with the Climate Shield in, uh, insulation package from Jayco, this RV has a fully heated, enclosed, insulated, meaning forced air heated underbelly. That insulation also applies to the slide outs. So this does have insulated slides. Again, that's one of those things you're going to take for granted unless you know what to look for. And that's why I put these videos together. Because there's a level of education here that is absolutely required to properly spend tens of thousands of dollars. If we're honest, this is a significant investment. Let's make sure you're doing it right, huh? Let's not just throw money away willy-nilly and then have to trade something in that you don't like a year later. Because you're not going to be at an equity point at that situation. Uh, electric space heater, fireplace. Uh, this will, anytime you're plugged into shore power... You can uh, electric heat your living space instead of propane heat. Now, what, what's nice about that is your furnace is really the only significant user of propane in the rig. Um, you know, if you've already paid for part power, why burn up all your propane? Now, notice part of the Eagle Premier package is all of your doors are upgraded to a nicer full hardwood. Not just hardwood style, but hardwood door panel as well, made to last. Big TV will come included with this, and uh, this is what's called a ledge stone fireplace, that stone surround, well, faux stone surround, pardon me. Um, the uh, That is an option that can go in here. If that is not present, it'll just be a big rear window with a TV that slides up and down behind the fireplace, essentially. Um, we've had a just resounding demand from our dealership to stock our Jayco's this way. But again, we can get you one just like it, if or just like, a, or built another way if you don't like it. That's what I was trying to say, holy cow. The uh, stereo is all-in-one, DVD, CD player, inside-outside speakers, and it's Bluetooth enabled, so you can hook your phone up to it or a tablet or whatever, kick on some music, and have a good time. Um, the sofa is a full, tri-fold, memory foam hide-a-bed sofa made by Denver Mattress. Not only does it operate very quickly and easily, it's pretty comfy. Uh, two adults, if you have guests or you have older kids that visit now and then, this is perfect. They can actually sleep in here and be comfortable. Um, the, uh, let's see, swing you around this way. Above the kitchen, you notice that uh, skylight up here. And it's not just a skylight, it's also got some lights too, so it does help illuminate that big negative space between the living room and the kitchen area. Um, let's move over here actually. Solid surface countertop upgrade. And that just looks sharp. Now, when you go to solid surface countertops, poke a hole in the shipping cover here, you get the uh, ability to go to an undermounted sink. And that's just, it's just nice for a couple reasons. One, it looks cool. It looks very cool. But two, it's all flush mount. So now you have more usable countertop space. Uh, big cabinets overhead here. Um, and notice that they put a shelf on here so that you actually get double the storage from it. You'll see RVs that have big cabinets, but without a shelf, it's a big waste of space. Now, this is a true backsplash. This is not a, uh, you know, a, a wallpaper. That is an actual backsplash right there. Your refrigerator standard is 8 cubic foot, not 6. This is 33% bigger than the average camper in this class. Pretty cool. You know, if you're going to spend a lot of time on like a seasonal site, you don't want to run to the grocery store every other day. And look at this, a floor-to-ceiling pantry with removable, adjustable shelving. So you can make this as big, as tall, small, any way you want with your storage, very nice. 
they uh, they rounded the corner of this a couple years ago, and it just it really opened up the flow between the kitchen and the hallway here. In your front bedroom, first thing I want to mention before I forget is this is a true queen. It's is an 80 inch long actual queen. Queen sheets fit the same size as your queen bed at home if you have one. Um, both sides of the bed do have normal hanging wardrobe storage, so in that respect, this bedroom's a lot like a lot of others. I do like to point out a couple things. They have uh, power outlets right up next to the headboard perfect position for something like a CPAP machine. Notice over here we have uh, your charging station. It's a pair of USB plugs and a 12 volt plug, or as we grew up calling them in a truck, a cigarette lighter. Um, now this is where this floor plan really takes it up a step. This is your third slide, and a lot of people, the first time they walk through this floor plan, don't realize this is a slide out. All of this is pure storage. This gives you basically the same storage as a front wall in a fifth wheel with a full bed slide, but it does it at a fraction of the weight. And that also means a fraction of the cost, which nobody ever seems to complain about. So you're going to get double the hanging wardrobe storage that you would normally have. There is extra dresser space down here, but what's really cool is this slide goes between the bedroom and the bathroom. All of this linen storage space is in the slide in the bathroom with a pair of extra bonus storage drawers that normally you just wouldn't have. Pardon me, I'm going to slide around the corner here. I'll give you the other angle of it. So here in the bathroom, you can get an idea. This is a solid 18 inches deep of pure unadulterated storage on, what, three, four, five different levels that you normally wouldn't have in here. You wouldn't have places for things like towels, but... They thought of that. You know, Jayco's been around for a, what, approaching 45 years or something crazy like that now. They got it figured out. Now, because this RV is extra tall, tall guys like me are not going to hit our head in these showers. And this is a very cool um, spa-style shower door, meaning it opens from the middle and it's radius and round. Um, kind of the whole concept of, like, a VW Bug. It looks like a really small car, but it actually has a very large amount of cubic foot of interior space. That's the whole point of that radius shower. Um, over here, even notice in the bathroom, they still have the nicer hardwood doors. Now this is a porcelain stool, not a plastic. You can do the, uh, the wedding ring test. When it clinks like that, it's real porcelain. That means you can actually clean and scrub this thing. It's not porous. It won't promote the uh, growth of mold and odor and bacteria. Um, and, in an Eagle, we have a full power bathroom ceiling fan, not one of the smaller fans. Um, let's see here, I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like, well, actually, I, I know that I'm missing more than one thing because there's a lot going on with these Eagles. That's what's really cool about these. I could do a 15, 20, 30 minute video and there'd still be something else to talk about because this is such a feature packed line. Like, I've barely touched on the construction of this RV. I've barely touched on that. And that's a huge factor in determining your long-term um, resale value and longevity and everything. So give us a call. Learn even more. 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Give us a call. Uh, you know, we do trades, financing, hitching, accessories, everything. All in one spot. We even do cars, trucks, cargo trailers, everything. You know, if you have a horse trailer and you want to trade it in, we're the place to call. We can do everything for you in one stop. 800-256-5196. 96, Halid RV, take care, stay safe, happy camping.